Hi, greetings from Ummai Clinic Chennai. I am Dr. Adhitraya Varman and in this video, we are going to discuss about the various intraocular lens options available for cataract surgery. So if your doctor has diagnosed you with cataract, they would have discussed about the various uh, intraocular lens options which are available to be implanted after your cataract. So you might have some confusion uh, when uh, you have heard about these different lenses which are available. So in this video, I am going to explain to you in detail about all of these technologies and which lens would be suitable for your needs. So before we begin with the lens options, uh, we must first understand what a cataract is and how we treat a cataract. So this is a model of the human eye. As you see here, it's like a camera. So in the front, we have the lens here, sitting here. And just like how a camera lens focuses the light onto the film of the camera, the eye will focus the light onto the retina, which is in the back of the eye. Now, as we age, just like how our hair turns gray, the lens inside the eye will also start to become opaque and it will not transmit light very easily. So this phenomena is known as a cataract. Usually occurs around the age of 60 or so, but it can occur earlier in individuals who have diseases like diabetes. So once the cataract is formed, what is the only solution to treat it? The only solution is to perform a cataract surgery. There is no medical treatment available to treat the cataract. So what we do in a cataract surgery is we remove the opaque lens inside the eye and we replace it with an artificial intraocular lens. So once we have replaced the um, opaque lens with the artificial lens, which is clear, patient's vision will now be restored and they can enjoy their clear vision after cataract surgery. So when we uh, discuss about the lens options, there are various lens options available today. But briefly, we can categorize them into three types. So the first type is a basic type called the monofocal lens. Second type is known as the EDOF or extended depth of focus lens. Third type is known as a trifocal or multifocal lenses. So we look at them one by one. And I have purposely picked out lenses from different brands today to show you. Just to make the point that the brand doesn't really matter. Rather, the technology behind it is what really matters. So IOL technology today is now very mature. And we have to look at the technology rather than look at the brand that is available. I have chosen brands which are from US, some from Germany and some from India as well. All of which are very good. So first we look at the monofocal lens options. So these are two examples of the monofocal lenses. So what does a monofocal lens do? So after the cataract surgery, if we implant the monofocal lens for the patient, patient will have absolutely clear vision for distance, meaning they'll be able to go out and drive comfortably, look, uh, watch TV, go to the cinema. So any work that requires you to look at a distance, that will be absolutely clear after implanting the monofocal lenses. But if you're trying to carry out any work at the intermediate range around 60 centimeters where a computer is or around 30 to 40 centimeters where you read your books or look at your mobile phone, the patient will require an additional reading glass. So who are these uh, monofocal lenses suitable for? These lenses are suitable for people who do not want to spend too much money on cataract surgery because they are the cheapest lenses available. So for those patients who do not want to spend too much money on cataract surgery, these lenses are a good option. But that does not mean it's a cheap lens by any means. It is a lens which will work well for the distance vision. If that's what the patient uh, desires, by all means, the monofocal lenses is an excellent option. Second, we move on to the next uh, option known as the EDOF lenses or the extended depth of focus lenses. So these two are examples of EDOF lenses. So what do these lenses do? So after a cataract surgery, if the patient has opted to have a need of lens implanted, patient will have very clear vision for distance and they will also have clear vision at the intermediate range as well. This is the range where most of our uh, work at the computer is done. Near, dis uh, near distance, they will have reasonable functionality. Uh, around 80 to 90% of the patient's work at the near distance will be covered. But if the patient wishes to read very fine print or small letters, then they will require an additional reading class for this as well. So this is a very good option for people who are of the working age and who require a lot of their uh, time to be spent in front of a computer screen or a laptop. So third, we move on to the third option. This is known as the multifocal or trifocal option. So what does this lens do? 
so basically this lens will cover all of the patient's distances if a patient opts to have this lens implanted the distance vision intermediate vision and the near vision all of which will be taken care of by this lens so you might be thinking is this the best lens on the market is this a lens that will be suitable for everyone well this lens does have one disadvantage so if we look at the lens more clearly you will see that these lenses have rings on them so these rings are what uh, <clears throat> determine the focal points of the lens meaning these rings is what gives the patient total spectacle freedom at the distance in the intermediate and the near range as well so because these rings are present they do have a phenomena known as the photic phenomena which means once a patient has his lens implanted in the eye when they go outside and look at some bright light especially at night time if they look at the street lights or the oncoming lights of a car they will see some glare halos starburst and rings coming out of the light source this is known as the photic phenomena for some patients this can be very disabling and can be very intrusive and in the future they might opt to have a lens exchange with another another lens like a monofocal or edof lens if this phenomena is very unbearable but these trifocal lenses today are quite mature and they are getting to be more advanced so this phenomena of glare and halos is actually getting to be more and more minimal and most patients 2 to 2 th to 3 months after implanting the trifocal lenses they get used to this glare and halo phenomena and neuroadaptation takes place so the brain tends to ignore all of these glare and halos and they are quite comfortable to carry on with their life so who are the ideal candidates for trifocal lenses so ideal candidates would be people who are retired who are not really working too much anymore and who are doing very minimal night time driving they will be ideal candidates for the trifocal lenses but if someone is younger uh, let's say they are around the age of uh, 45 to 60 they have cataract and they have a very active lifestyle they drive around a lot at night time and most of their work is in front of a computer they are ideal candidates for the eed of lens options so this is a very brief introduction into the various lens options available today cataract surgery is constantly evolving and we're getting newer lens options every uh, few months it would be ideal for you to sit down with the ophthalmologist in and discuss in detail about your requirements and your lifestyle activities so that we can make the correct option for you and give you the best vision after cataract surgery so i hope i have uh, clear some of your doubts about the different lens options available today if you have any further questions please feel free to drop them in the comment box below and we'll be happy to help you soon thanks for your attention